In this lesson, we'll have a quick discussion on the Roman numeration system and then answer some questions. The Romans used letters of alphabet as numerals. And remember what a numeral is. It is a symbol that represents a number. The Roman numerals are shown on your screen and using these symbols we can essentially come up with any integer number at least. They use a different system for representing decimals and fractions. We won't be discussing that in this video. So in our very first question we are asked to convert DCL XXV triple I to Hindo-Arabic notation. That's the notation that we use today where we use symbols between 0 and 9 to represent all the different numbers. So D represents 500. I'll start off by writing that out up here. We have 500, then C is 100, L is 50, we have two X's, which represent two tens, V is five, and those final three symbols represent one, so one plus one plus one. Adding all these together, we get 600, 50, 10, 70, 75, 78. So 678 is this numeral. Furthermore, if the value of a numeral is ever less than the value of the numeral to its right, then the value of the left numeral is subtracted from the value of the numeral to its right. For example, we have the number IV. Now you might know this as the number four, but if you look at the numerals individually, we have one and five. Take a look at the legend up here. One plus five is six, but because this numeral is more than the value of this numeral, we subtract them. In fact, we take away this numeral from that numeral. So we have five minus one as shown here, and that's four. The same can be said for the example below. We have I X. X represents 10. It's bigger than I. So we write down 10 minus one, and that's nine. X L. X is 10 and L is 50. That's like saying 50 minus 10. CM, C is 100 and to its right is M is 1000. So subtracting 100 from 1000 gives you 900. There are some restrictions to this rule, however. We can only subtract the numeral I, X, C, and M. This does not apply for the other numerals. For example, we cannot use VL to represent 45. To represent the number 45, we write down X, L, V, where X is 10, L is 50, and V is 5. Because we have X and L beside each other, it's 40. And then this 5 gets added to it, and we get 45. The other restriction is that we can only subtract numerals from the next two higher numerals. For instance, we can only subtract I from V and X, but you can't say I and something that is more than two from it. For example, we cannot use IC to represent 99. You see, C is beyond two levels greater than I. It's four. So you can't subtract those if they were side by side. Let's do another question. Convert MCMX LIII to Hindu Arabic notation. Let's begin with this M. M is 1000. So we have 1000. C is 100. M again is a thousand. Notice that we go from small to large. This could be a candidate for subtraction and it works. We will take away these two. So 1000 minus 100 is 900. This stays the way it is. Then we have XL, X and then L. Those can be subtracted. X is 10 and L is 50. So these two subtracting them makes 40. 
Then we have these three i's. Adding up 1,000 plus 900 plus 40 plus 3 is 1943. In question number 3, we have to write down 492 in Roman numerals. To get 400, we can use that subtraction method where I can take away 100 from 500. I'll put C and D next to each other. These two together make 400. To make 90, I can subtract the 10 from the 100. So I'll put X, C next to each other. X, C, together these make 90. And the 2 can be the two I's. So I have C, D, X, C with those two I's. One last thing before we conclude, in the Roman numeral system, a bar above a symbol means to multiply the value by 1,000. And bracketing a symbol with two vertical bars multiplies the value by 100. So in question number four, we have to convert the following to Hindu Arabic form. Let's begin with this D bar. This D on its own represents 500. We need to multiply that by 1,000. If we multiply this by 1,000, we get 500,000. So that just takes care of this D. And it's followed by an M. The subtraction do rule doesn't apply for D. It only applies for these letters. So the next one is M. We have three of those. M represents 1,000. So we have 3,000. Now we're here. We have three C's in a row. That's 100, 100, 100. X's. 10, 10, and 10, and three I's, which represents three. Adding up all these numbers together, we get 500 and 3,333. We have one more example. Convert 32,400 into Roman numerals. What we can do to represent 30,000 is take three of these X's, that represents 30, and by placing a line over all three, we essentially have 30 times 1,000, which is 30,000. So we just took care of the 30,000. Now we have to do the 2,400. For the 2,000, we can write down M, M. That's 2,000 right there. And the 400 can be done by writing down C, D next to each other. This is 100. And that's 500. If we use IXCM, we have C. We subtract 500 and 100 together to make 400. So triple X with this bar at the top encompassing all three of them, double M C D is 32,400. So there you have it. Those are some examples of the Roman numeration system.